Well, uh, you know, there are, I think there are a couple of notes that have come in on Gujarat gas as well. So, uh, you know, we should get that up for you on the screen uh, as we speak. I think, uh, you know, a couple of notes came in earlier today, guys. Uh, you know, do any of you have that uh, note that is coming in there? Wait one minute. Let me just uh, pull up a couple of notes uh, that we have. Jeffries, they have gone ahead. I think they've raised their target price out there to around 400 and uh, 70 rupees. So they continue to have an underperform uh, rating out there. It was an operationally weak quarter with the EBITDA in line, but the volumes are 4% below what Jefferies was working with on further market share loss in Morbi. So that explains why they are, uh, you know, uh, they have an underperformed uh, rating out there. And pricing strategy suggests that margin difference over gaining back market share in Morbi. So that's another point. CLSA, they as well have a sell rating with a target price of around 360 rupees. They say that the past quarter was disappointing performance and there was muted commentary as well out there. And the, uh, you know, the PAT as well came in lower because of lower margins uh, out there. So those are the couple of, uh, you know, and they also say that the management has guided for 10% volume growth uh, and a unit EBITDA margin of around 4.5 to around 5.5 per unit. That's per SEM. And they find the multiple at around 30 times PE uh, unsustainable. And that's why they also see that there are further risks to the EPSO. That explains why a couple of brokerages not too optimistic on Gujarat Gas.